saturated shooting is my filthy little urchin cell. Well, your face is a lot worse than the numbers you were last night. Do you mean the numbers which said it outsold your entire back catalog by a factor of a thousand? Oh, man, whatever. At least we're doing something for you. And we're doing it probably for a 20th budget in your title. Okay? <laughs> And if you ever get yeah. a budget summit, Jim, you'll be making first-person shooters like the rest of us real developers. Not real developers. Is that what you want? Uh, you're real uh, developers. Uh, What's up, hey guys? It makes you yeah, bedroom hey. coders on your Sinclair hey. Spectrum. Nice! Uh, thank you. Okay, well, you can get it. This sort of conversation is occurring pretty regularly in the game industry. And, though hyperbolic, parts of it are rooted in truth. Thing is, the indie scene doesn't have a great track record when it comes to sales. And whenever something does sell, a segment of the community tends to go into clone overdrive. Just look at the App Store. <laughs> and really, the indie community is often driven to innovate by its lack of resources as much as by any particular urge toward innovation. Indie developers work within much greater constraints, which requires ingenuity. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that the advances they make are often not as polished Three as they might Three minutes, Devontae. Everybody else? On the flip side, the major Two. publishers and AAA studios are often more concerned with guaranteeing a good game rather than aiming to make a great game. Even if a AAA title is just good, it will likely make a profit. And we're talking about big numbers here, so even a small percentage positive return is significant. Besides, when AAA games bomb, they are really, really gone. That means a lot of money, or more terribly, a lot of jobs. This means that a responsible AAA studio will try to mitigate risk. And one way to do that is simply to emulate things that are popular. We gamers may whine about it, but copying what's already popular helps to keep the boats in the black. But for all the weaknesses the new side of the industry has, they also have their strengths. Many members of the indie community are genuinely interested in moving media. They do it differently. You can either buy it or buy it, or you can rent it. Um, They're I'm also very ruckus. They get more done in less time and on a smaller budget than know. any other group of developers you will find anywhere. And as for the AAA studios, well, the great works simply require a big budget. This is being chapel, wasn't cheap. They do know how Jack Perfect is. Without the AAA industry and the enormous budget it commands, it's also we have really our easy to hire a brand side of our game for purposes. I don't care how many of these games you may personally like or dislike, not having these titles would be a great challenge for the game. Besides, not all parts are about innovation. The AAA community are masters of punch. They take diamonds in the road to reveal their true color. Without the attention of having all those designers, artists, and programmers, many great ideas would be left behind. You just get a deal with your industry. All right, so now that we've covered the pros and cons of both sides of the industry, I don't think it's much. Maybe I'm wrong. They used to do it. I see that they have found some answers. No, no, I have a... All the other publishers have established indie bridges. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Like pictures, so you can tell it's red, 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 red. So why haven't we tried this? So, guys! Why isn't there an EA indie? We have two minutes. Levante. Yeah. Bringing two minutes. The industry together would solve multiple problems. Number one, one of the biggest drawbacks to indie development is that it lacks support. Sure, so sure. indie developers have accomplished some amazing things on those limited resources. But at the same time, it really hinders their ability to create a polished product and get it to a large audience. Awesome. Having the distribution channels and marketing, funding, quality control groups of a major publisher on their side, that'd be a huge Number two, innovations of right. risk for AAA it's studios, but not for indies. Having an awesome. indie publishing arm would allow AAA developers to see see test the waters at low cost and only commit yep. large investments toward the innovations that prove themselves worthwhile. Right. What's better for the consumer is, in the end, better for the industry. Besides the cred a publisher would get for putting out all those innovative games, an indie publishing arm would provide some titles to fill those post holiday goals. You yeah, sitting out, Devante? Huh? I told you eight minutes ago. We're, we're done. We're done? One minute. Close it. It's got to be, you have to be out the door in a minute. Okay. You got to manage your time. So since you're still playing it, I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Why, you shut it down? Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn it right off. One minute. So if you were wise, man, you'd probably stop playing and make sure anything you want to be kept intact is kept intact. Okay. Allowing them to Guess what? It's already that time, all right? So I'm turning it off. Pushing the switch? I am. Wait. Let me off the window. I said eight minutes.